Hi there guys, in this video I want to just give you a bit of a status update of what's been happening. Now the plan last week was to get a video out on Friday, however that didn't come to fruition and unfortunately I didn't get a video out then. The main reason being that I didn't have anything in particular to cover. Uh, now it's been a little bit of time, I did want to post a video so you know I'm still about and things are still happening. And that's why I do these sort of status updates, just to let you know. So as you may or may know, I've been trying to unlock all the engineers and this is something that is a very time consuming process. So far I've unlocked about 90% I think I, uh, I still got a few more to do. So for this engineer I've been working towards, I believe it's Celine Jean I think, you have to have mined 500 ore. When I started this whole process I only had 50 odd done so I had to basically mine for about 450 plus uh, ore which did take quite a long time and like I said about an hour or so you can get about 100ish in uh, especially with the little drones that help pick up stuff uh, it's best it would take a lot longer to actually mine that so whilst being in these resource extraction sites I did find myself getting attacked quite a lot uh, sometimes even wings of three ships and sometimes I think they could even be up to a federal gunship or assault ship or something I uh, can't remember now, but I did think it was a bit overkill. Uh, another instance, I think I had six ships attacking me at the same time. Whether this is to do with the combat reins or this ship, I'm not too sure. I'd be quite interested to hear from you guys uh, if you've been in a resource extraction site trying to mine stuff, how much uh, you get interrupted. I did find if you fly about 20 kilometers away from the start point, most of the time you get left alone. However, I did find the quality of the ore seemed to dip a little bit and I didn't find such good stuff. Uh, whether that's just something to do with random number, I don't know. But like I said, I'd be interested to hear from you if you've attempted mining. Uh, like Mining at the very start of the game was very bland, I think it was, and then they've tried to make it a bit more interesting by adding all these different wares and different stuff you can get and make it a bit more rewarding. So if you do know of anything good going on, uh, let me know, because like I said, the big thing of Quint seems to have dried up. I need to go and check that sometime again, but it does seem to be uh, not working at the same rate. Uh, I mean, when it was before 2.3, it was easy to get 20 emissions and roughly make 20 plus million on each trip. Um, oh look, so finally I've actually unlocked the engineer, I think I got the message at the top, so that's finally done 500 ore. Uh, like I said, it's something mining I haven't really touched on and only done 50, so like I said, doing the 450 to actually unlock the engineer is quite a lot of work. So here we go, Celine Jean, invitation. So yeah, like I said, that took a long time to do and I'm glad that one's done. So that should allow me to get to the next engineers once I've actually unlocked this one, which hopefully shouldn't take too long. So we've just skipped ahead now and we've gone to the engineers base so I can actually finally unlock this one. Uh, like I said, if you've done a lot of mining in the past, you probably won't have been a big deal to you. But if you're like me, you left mining alone, then it's quite a lot of work. It seems though, without unlocking this engineer, there's another two that are behind it, so this one is actually has to be done. I think one of them needs bromelite or something, which is another mining material, which I think you get at ice rings. And then the other one, which is deliver some stuff, I think it's some larves, uh, brandy or something, which shouldn't be too much aggro. So now we're landed at the base, let's see if we can actually unlock this engineer. As you can see it needs this pain knight, or however you pronounce it. Uh, it needs 10 lots of those, which can be quite awkward. Um, like I said, fortunately I do actually have 10, so let's actually donate them. And as you can see, this engineer deals with armour, or bulkheads, depending on what way you want to look at it. So this armour upgrade, like I said, I've only got class 1 uh, light. I'm not totally sure which way I'm going to do this. Uh, lightweight would seem to be most interesting, but I guess it depends on how much weight reduction it gives. Uh, sometimes it doesn't give much. So if we have a look at our jump range, you've got 19.95, which is not that great, but bear in mind that is an equipped uh, Federal Corvette. So let's uh, just try the first one and get through. Uh, a lot of the engineers, what I do is just skip them pretty quick. The 
leveling up stage. Uh, it's pretty easy to do because all you do is go for the level one recipe three times, then go for the level two recipe, and then the level three and so forth. And look for the recipes where you've got an abundant amount of resources for, so it doesn't actually detract from what you want. So if we do another three here, we should then come out and grab so I'm not too sure whether I should go for lightweight armor or something like blast resistance or heavy armor. Uh, the reason before this is that I tend to rely on the shields and when the shields go down I tend to get out of the area. Um, also when the shields are down a lot of the engineer mods are actually to try and benefit, boost something up but makes it more vulnerable. Um, so I guess like I said I, I'm not too sure what to do there. I mean armor is kind of a last resort and hopefully it isn't something that I do need too much so I might think lightweight might be better for me but I'm not too sure it depends on the um, reduction in weight it's a bit unfortunate I can't get the class 5 here because I've just haven't got the resources to do it so I'll be very interested to hear from you guys what do you think I should actually equip on the armor should I go for a kind of lightweight armor or should I go for a sort of blast resistant or um, just heavier armor uh, I think the heavy armor does add a lot more mass and I think if I can I will check that in a minute. I mean it's a little bit different with the shields because the shields are actually taking damage all the time and i kind of gone for resistances. Uh, the reason for that is that if the resistances reduce the damage coming in then when the shields recharge then they won't have so much to recharge against so they should come up quicker. But Equally, I mean, I was in preparation of uh, 2.3 because they were going to change a lot of the shields about and I thought that resistances weren't going to get mucked about with, but the actual uh, shield increases were. So I think the next engineer later on after this will do with the shield boosters and again I'm not too sure which way to go with that. Should I go for more resistances or should I go for a bigger boost on it? So anyway, this is why I create these kind of videos, so you can actually see what I'm doing and give me some feedback on things. And like I said in the past, your feedback has been invaluable. You've made some big changes to the way I play Elite and Dangerous. I won't pretend I know everything about this game, I obviously don't. And when I do actually get something I think is worthy, I will make a video to kind of uh, help you guys out. And hopefully that has happened in the past. Uh, like I said, if you do know of which way I should do this, uh, I'd be very keen to know. Do you, you think I should go for resistances or more shields or more armor? Uh, bearing in mind, like I said, the way I play this game. Uh, like I said, I don't. I kind of thought the resistance was better because of 2.3, but the, later on, them changes are actually uh, removed. So I think I might just check out this heavy armor because I've actually got just enough materials. Um, you can see here it's going to add quite a lot of mass to the armor. Uh, it's going to give a bit of a boost to the actual uh, strength of the armor over the lightweight version of course. Um, but like I said it's not ideal being next to extra weight. Uh, obviously the resistance is going to be a little bit less but that kind of varies a bit so uh, we might just uh, check this one out and see how this gun go but for the time being I think I will switch back to lightweight um, like I said I can't do the class 5 at the moment I need to get some stuff for that so this uh, give this heavy one a go and see what we get so you can see it's increased the mass quite a bit uh, we've got a nice boost to the hull and the resistances don't look as good uh, so we're going to get a boost to that, it kind of makes it just about equal. Uh, same again. Uh, hole boost, a little bit more. So yeah, there's quite a lot of mass extra. So we've got 20.1 with the lightweight. So let's uh, just see what that does. And that on the uh, actual armor level I've got... 1245 health on the armor so let's uh, apply that so the heavies actually boosted it up to 1616 so that's a bit of an increase uh, but it's dropped the jump range to 19.3 19.6 sorry so that's not ideal uh, as armor is usually a last result for me uh, so I think I might just try the the lightweight again and see like I said if the heavy is that much better in I could just go and get some resources and actually redo that 
So for the time being, like I said, I'm just going to apply that. I would have applied the class 5 if I had the materials, but it doesn't appear I have. Which is a little bit annoying, but never mind. So let's uh, just put this one back on. So you can see the boost is going to be much, much less. Uh, the mass, though, is a lot less, which is going to affect the jump range. And in the Federal Corvette, the jump range isn't very spectacular at the best of cases. As you can see, you can just about get up to about 20 in it with it fully armed. So let's uh, put that back on and see what we've got. So, like I said, we're back just over 20.1, which is not too bad. Uh, the health's gone down to 1,295, which is a little bit of a reduction. But as I will use the front jump drive a lot more than armor, hopefully, I guess that might be the best trade-off. Uh, anyway, guys, so yeah, I'd like to hear what you think on this one. As you, in, in the past, your help's been invaluable. So one thing I want to do is just to show you which engineers I've currently unlocked. So if we go to the engineer section, uh, just down here, you can see I've unlocked quite a few. So if we just get back up to the top. You can see I've got the Dweller, Tina Fortune, Todd the Blaster, this bloke, Tory Jameson, Professor Palin, Celine Jean. Marco Gwent was a bit of a pain to unlock because of the requirement uh, of getting friendly with that corporation. Uh, so Colonel Briss Decker, Lee Chin, uh, the Sarge, Liz Ryder, Rantan or Rantan, Felicity Farcia, uh, Herod Taney. Rod, whatever, tank or other. <laughs> uh, I got an invite for Did War, Did Vivian. Uh, like I said, that's the one with Lava Your Brandy, which shouldn't be too bad. That's the one I was on about with the shield boosters. Uh, Tid, Bill Turner with the plasma accelerators, which I don't tend to use. Uh, and utilities, not too sure which utilities, so I have to check that one out. Uh, this bloke I probably won't unlock. Um, I don't really use fragment cannons, but I do use multi cannons. But I do actually have the engineer for that one. Uh, so yeah, I do have quite a few, and as you can see, I've got three more to unlock on there. I think that's pretty much all the ones left. And whilst doing that, uh, you can see I've got two more invites. So I'm to Bill and the other one. So what I'll probably do in the next couple of days is have a look at the Asp Explorer again. I haven't done many mods to that for quite a while, so I wonder if I can get the range up a bit more. Um, I did, like I said, have a look at the Anaconda and managed to get it up to 62 light years. And you guys kind of seem to like them videos, so if I can get that Asp Explorer up quite substantially, I will post another video. Although I'm not kind of expecting to see a big increase on its range, it's got around about 50 light years now. And I use it as my kind of uh, long range scout because it can dock on any station. Um, but like I said, if I can get it up to 55 maybe, I will post a video showing you that because you guys seem quite interested in them videos. And like I said, with these engineer mods, um, like I said, you can do this sort of stuff. And like I said, I kind of left the engineers alone. I mean, I should have probably looked at them a lot more quicker than I did. As you may know, just recently I've actually added a engineer section to my site. And like I said, it was a long time coming, but hopefully it's all right now. But anyway, guys, I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments in this video. I mean, what do you think I should do with the boosters and shields and armor? Uh, like I said, if you could, leave your comments below. Uh, another thing that does help is like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, anyway guys, I think that's it for the time being. Take care and have fun out there.